Good morning. Good morning. Quite tired this morning. You know what time it is? The baby likes to wake me up at three in the morning to go to the washroom because he sits on my bladder and then he just wants to do somersaults at four in the morning for like an hour and then I just can't get back to sleep. And then the birds are up. Now it's coffee time. In fact, I already made you coffee. I don't know why I chose to do that with my left hand. <laughs> so this is actually our first night of rain with our pop top. So this is a good test of how the acrylic canvas held up. But as you can see, it's pretty good. I mean, I don't know if you can actually tell from that, but if you look, it's like beating off the off the canvas there, right? Yeah, it didn't like soak in like it did with our old cotton one. on the road and we've got an exciting part two coffee filled day today. Coffee filled day. Yes. That sounds good to me. <laughs> that sounds good to everybody. Uh, so we're heading into the town of Nelson which is... It's a small little town here in the Kootenays. About 8,000 people. Yeah. 10,000 people. 10,000 people. So but it's like a really cute town and it's kind of like a hippie town. Probably. Yeah, very hippie-ish, very hippie-ish. We're gonna go in, we're gonna explore around town a little bit. Hopefully the rain holds off and we can kind of walk around, check out some of the shops, etc. see what's open. That guy's been some places. All the stickers he has. <laughs> We don't have nearly as many stickers. No. We'll get there. Maybe. We probably won't. Pretty cool. There is multiple Westy puzzles. This is that one. That one's really cute. I kind of want to get it. So you can buy this whole metal VW bus. It's a thousand dollars, but it's a cooler as well. It's kind of big though. <laughs> I don't know where we'd put it. And I mean, it also looks like they built their own roof rack. We got it. <laughs> so cool. So I got the, the tin. It's a 550 piece puzzle. And it's got all kinds of really cool, like V-Dub buses, like the retro kind. Little even cooler, like the hippie mans. More like, these are like the proper hippie mans. And this is like such a cute puzzle. We'll have to do this tonight. But uh, it's so cute. We have so much VW stuff. Like. We're becoming VW nerds. We are, we really are. This is literally one of the reasons why we came into town to get Oso Negro coffee. I guess this was introduced to us through our friends because our parents live here in Nelson. And um, it's really good coffee. So obviously we stopped to get some and it has a beautiful courtyard. And we got ourselves some um, freshly ground, freshly roasted coffee for the Westie. We'll be enjoying that tomorrow morning. <laughs> and, and the next morning. Uh, this is Princess of Darkness. Ooh. Oh, it yeah. smells so good. Matt smell this. <laughs> Well, we are leaving Nelson now. That was a lovely little stroll through town. Hey. It's a nice little town. It's a really cute little town. So many adorable little shops, gift shops, clothing. Good drinking, coffee. Excellent coffee. And uh, now we are back on the road. We got about a 40 minute drive past the campsite that we were at originally last night to catch our ferry. It's a, it's a the Belfour Ferry. It's a little ferry. It's going to take us across Kootenay Lake to our next uh, campground. Apparently, it's the longest free ferry in the world. Right? Isn't that a thing? Actually, that is a thing. That's true. Little fact for you. And 
it's snack time slash lunch time kind of been just like munching all day mm -hmm. for like various snacks but we are essentially waiting for the ferry we're here oh I, my watch is charging so i don't even have it on triscuits some sandwiches. it is this like president's choice would you say it tastes like cream cheese i think it tastes like coconuts i love it trying to think of our child's name because we don't have a name for our child yet. Is that what you're doing? Why haven't you been consulting me about this? Okay, I'm just browsing Facebook, but you know, I still need a name for our child. <laughs> so, this is what we've been doing most of this trip is pondering names. It's it's calling for thunder showers today, actually. actually I so I still are. it's been a bit of a rainy trip so far, and oh. it looks like there's going to be even some more rain, so. Good thing we brought our rain jackets. Next. Good thing we have this waterproof canvas. Chance of thunderstorms at 5 p.m. That'd be cool though. As long as we're inside, <laughs> then it's cool. And not on this ferry in the middle of the water. <laughs> Spot number 15. 15? 15. I thought we were 14. I've got so many things in my hand. Right up here on Gray Creek. Sweet. Sounds good. Ooh, well, there's Wi Fi. Dinner time. Well, not quite yet. Getting there. <laughs> Getting there. Doing some spaghetti. We got some carrots, mushrooms, and Beyond Meat sausage frying up. Put some marinara sauce in there. Okay, ready for this? Yeah. No thunder yet. No, they're calling for it. I want to hear the thunder. Where are you, thunder? Let's see how this tastes. How do you feel about taking a walk down to the lake? We can do it. How do you feel about doing the dishes first? Ah. It's quite a nice little location. Yeah, it's a nice little beach. It's I not, mean, it's not the nicest beach maybe, but... I mean, it's not like the white sand like <laughs> Kokanee Creek, but... The view's nice. Amazon Warrior? No, like Titan. Who's, in, who's the sea? Poseidon. Makes me feel like I'm Poseidon and this is my trident. Just had a hilarious little uh, photo shoot out on the rocks there. I found a really big stick. So I think it's interesting. The Gray Creek City Hall here was built in 1912. It was the schoolhouse from 1914 to 1944. Also a church, a social center, and also home to clubs such as the Porcupine Club. What do you do? What does the Porcupine Club do? I don't know. I don't know, maybe we should join a Porcupine it's Club. It's a very uh, multi-purpose building. So, <laughs> so, there's a lot to digest here. We are currently at the Glass House which is a very unique house. So it was built by David H. Brown, who was in the funeral business for 35 years. And when he retired, he wanted to, and I quote, to indulge on a whim of a particular nature. So back in the 1950s, there wasn't actually any way to recycle glass bottles. And so he had all of these embalming bottles. So he came up with the idea of building a house with all of these bottles, but he didn't have enough bottles on his own. So he contacted all of his friends in the funeral business and they gave him a whole bunch of bottles and he ended up with half a million of these glass embalming bottles. 500,000 embalming bottles. So he built an entire house out of them. As one would do with 500,000 embalming bottles. So this is like the little museum of how he built it. Apparently he built it in two years time, which is kind of crazy. And surprisingly, embalming bottles or like glass bottles in general provide quite a bit of insulation. So 
it's a pretty insulated house. So here, you can actually get a good look at the shape of the bottles. They are square shaped. They hold 16 ounces of liquid and they're all laid down on their side and stacked up and held together with mortar to create the house. Surprisingly, the inside of the house actually looks a lot like an inside of a house. I was quite surprised. There's only like three rooms, really, because uh, it's built like in the shape of a clover, but that's really all you need, like a bedroom, a kitchen, a living room. Wait a minute, I did not see the bathroom. So many gnomes! There's so many gnomes here. It's kind of adorable. Actually, it looks like, I mean, it is kind of shaped like a castle, so it's like fairy tale castle style. It's pretty cool. It's pretty, pretty morbid in a way. <laughs> but also really beautiful. Yeah. Like, I mean. Such a pretty spot too, right on the lake. Yeah.